Do I look cool though? Cause I feel cool. Well, hello there internet, my name is Annie, and today I wanna to talk to you about the magnificent Orange is the New Black. Now, if you don't watch this show, go away. But if you do, welcome to the party. Cause today, our whole video is prison themed. This season was amazing and wonderful, just as amazing and wonderful and hilarious and moving as the previous season, but both seasons have kind of brought me to the same conclusion. There have been times when I've been like, prison doesn't look so bad. I take comfort in knowing that if for whatever reason I do get arrested and go to jail, Black Cindy will be waiting for me. Black Cindy is my spirit animal. I know, I know, that sounds terrible. It's prison. It's it's it means that you have done something against the law, but at the same time it's kind of like it looks kind of awesome. The whole thread is like if you do something bad, you will go to jail. <gasps> jail? But now I'm kinda all like, oh no, jail. And there are even times when it's like I almost even want to go to jail. Hey officer. Mustache looks stupid. Excuse me. Nothing. I love your hat though. It's great. I'm not. I'm not wearing a hat. One more thing. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I mean, if there are girls like Alex in prison, then I am so there. You know, it gets you thinking. Would I survive in prison? Would I do well in prison? So if in the event I ever do go to jail, I figure I should be ready. It's like the apocalypse. I should just. Be ready to deal with the bad situation. This is Prison Prepping 101 with me. I've never gone or been to prison. My only qualification is that I've watched a shit ton of Orange is the New Black. First things first, we're gonna start basic. You gotta know the lingo, 7-Up. No, it does not mean a soda. It means that there's a CO coming. Like, yo, you know what? She's got all day. Fish means new prisoner. Man, look at that fish. A banger is a knife or a shiv. Cap is the amount of marijuana one can fit in the cap of a chapstick. Yes, that is the thing, apparently. Duff out is to beat up. And finally, my personal favorite, boof. It's contraband that has been carried in one's rectum. Yeah. Dude, where did you get these cigarettes? Boof. Now there may come a time when you want to smoke or you might just need to light something on fire, in which case you can use the Litchfield lighter. All you're going to need is a battery and a gum wrapper. So take your gum wrapper and your scissors, yes I know you can't get scissors in prison, I'm still working on it, and you cut just a little sliver of the wrapper like so. Now you're going to fold said sliver in half with the silver part facing in. And you take your scissors and you make just a little cut. You cut a little triangle off, like so. Make it into a little brackety kind of shape thing. And you place the silver part on the plus side and the other silver part on the negative side, and it makes flame! Litchfield lighter. Maximum authenticity and replication. I'm going to be in the shower. Also, I don't want to light anything important on fire. And you take the thing, and you do the thing. Put your scissors wherever you had contraband. Give me a flame. It works, uh, which is great. So now you can do this if you go to prison. What? Science. And finally, weapons. Let's say that perchance you happen to make an enemy in prison. Well, you may need to defend yourself, and there are hundreds of ways to go about doing this, but one of the most simple and probably easiest to do is the old something heavy in a sock and beat them with it, also known as the mean trick that V pulled on Red. Spoilers, sorry. We'll need a sock and a lock, perhaps even a Lockspy. So here's our target. Scientifically, cardboard is the same density and mass as a human, so I figured it would work out the best. Also, I do not have a real human volunteer who would let me hit them with a lock in a sock. I'm just gonna nail her up to this tree. Hey yo! Put the lock in the sock and start hitting things.
You <laughs> I was just taking a kin lady locks me out for a spin. Ladies and gents, I will end this here. Thank you for watching. If you did, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a little something. Subscribe, please, if you want to do that thing. If not, I will shank you with a shiv because I now have extensive knowledge about prison weapons, which may or may not be a good thing. I look like a Nazi, don't I? Uh... Ow! Oh, I just hit my knee with it. <laughs> Made my mustache fall off!